Okay, hello guys. <clears throat> it's Joaquin. It's Tuesday. It's my second flight for today. Probably gonna be my last one. Just finished with my first flight. I uh, was feeling froggy and did a loop and it was ugly. I didn't crash obviously, but holy smokes. If I hadn't have been 30 feet in the air, the recovery <laughs> was just hideous. Um, thought I was doing 3D there for a minute. <laughs> uh, about halfway through my flight, my heart was pounding so hard I had to do some Lamaze training to freaking <laughs> get my wits back about me and uh, after the flight I just sat on my tailgate for about 5-10 minutes to get my wits about me before I had the nerve to take off again. Anyway, <clears throat> kind of sorry I missed, the, missed taping it but at the same time I'm glad because I might have been kicked off the forum for something so ugly. Anyway, <clears throat> had a report for jury duty this morning for the Superior Court up in uh, Santa Maria. Actually went through jury selection and the whole bit and, uh, and ended up not needing me, so I got uh, close to half a day off today. Just came home and uh, Went online, ordered some parts for the 500. Ordered uh, an 80 amp ESC from Hobby Wing. Uh, went on Hobby King, did some damage. Uh oh, hello. No orientation problem there. Uh, let's see, ordered a 16 kV motor. Um, let's see, an aluminum base plate just because. I get uh, the orange 8 channel receiver uh, there's I think two more items oh I ordered uh, let me see no that wasn't it that was that uh, leaders hobby ordered a UI 520 from leaders hobby so in the next few weeks we should have some uh, parts arriving for the big dog. Boy, having some space is awesome. <laughs> Makes me a little nervous getting it so far away, but it sure looks cool out there against the sky. I'm sure it's not a lot of detail for you guys, but it's good enough for me. Um, I am not going to try another loop right now. I almost had an aneurysm on the last one. I don't think my uh, nervous system could handle another one of those. I think I need to uh, get back on the simulator and just do 30 minutes of loops. I think that might help me try to get that perfect circle look to it. I think my problem was uh, I was a little too aggressive with it. <clears throat> too much uh, rear cyclic and way too much uh, collective I think was my problem. And then uh, by the time I got through the loop and started trying to uh, do my recovery I was directly overhead. That didn't help any. Uh, at one point, I think I was looking at the exact side of the rotor plane. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Um, God, I bet you if people were watching, they'd have had bets on uh, whether I was going to crash or not. Because it was, he's got it, he doesn't, he's got it, he doesn't. <laughs> but uh, thank goodness I didn't drill it into the ground. Um, been enjoying the videos everybody Brian hey thanks again for the offer on those servos um, like I said let me know uh, how much I owe you I surely appreciate it 
I'm loving your little uh, MCPX. That thing is, that thing is cool. That looks like a indoor rainy slash uh, uh, windy day type of a, a gig. I don't know how far away I'd want to get with it. So tiny, but um, yeah, that was cute. Looked like you got pretty good control over it too. Um, <clears throat> let's see, Spiros. I think it's time to go flying, bud. I think you got that helicopter dialed in as well as you're gonna get it. It's time to time to bite the bullet and take that thing outside and learn how to hover. Oh, let's see. My tail's bobbing up and down a bit. Oh, there's my timer. I don't know what that is, but I'll have to check into it. There you go, Brian. How was that? <laughs> a little easier when I don't have a tiny little piece of diamond plate to land on. Whew. Okay. Well, I didn't crash. That's awesome. Oh, look at that. What a thing of beauty. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks, and uh, we'll see you online. Bye.